Hello Pisces, how you doing? Uh, this is going to be a Astro Flower reading from the July the 4th going right through to the 11th of July. If you've seen the July readings, you might actually understand that card a little bit better than what it actually is. For, straight off the bat, you kind of say, oh no, the overall energy here, because this is your relationship side and this is your money side. Here, you might be sort of saying straight away, oh no, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm trapped. This is what the energy, the energy is trying to block me in. That's not how it was read in the um, July readings. And I think you're going to be a significant part in that July, uh, this July period in regards of the collective. Uh, and it may be a case here of saying you're coming unstuck. You're getting a lot more sort of freedom. We'll see. Let's see what's going on. This is the karmic messages that are coming out for this um for either side. And this is the outcome as well for the uh, coming future, uh, the outcome of the two paths and what it leads into the next week. If you want to be part of the Astro Flower family, it's very simple. Subscribe here and click that bell. You know you want to, you might as well just head, go ahead and do it. Uh, we'll join, uh, you can join us as well on Instagram as well, where we do a few competitions and do extra little videos and stuff like that. Uh, let's just go through it now. Let's get the overall reading here. Let me just set off my timer. I also end up going off like a, going off in far too much. Okay, so the overall reading here. If imagine I was a hoarder, I'm not. I can be though, I'm a little bit, I'm Capricorn, and I can be a bit of a hoarder. Hoarding and sort of kind of going, I'm not gonna throw that away because I might need it. <laughs> that sort of hoarding, yeah? Imagine, just imagine, you've collected loads of stuff, and once you start sorting out what you wanna keep and what you wanna throw away, all of a sudden you'll make a lot of space and you'll become unstuck. That's what seems to be this initial process which is now taking hold uh in this month and you know you're going to be the instrument of that sort of uh sorting the chaff from the wheat basically that's what it seems like here so this card here if you don't want to be you don't have to be trapped you can be as free as you wish. And Pisces, you there's nothing more than what you love, and that is being free. And I think it's the case here is the overall energy is recognising the things that are holding you back. That's what I think the overall energy is here. Let's see what's going on on the relationship side. Let's see what's going on with the karmic message here on that side. Enjoyment is something that is usually shared. Yeah, it can be an individual activity, but you will eventually turn around to someone and say, oh, you never guess what I saw the other day, or you never guess what I did. And you're going to share that pleasure and enjoyment that you had. Um, and this is what it's sort of saying here, sort of saying you don't have to put up with uh, being um, nice for nice steak. It's a case of, you know, if, if it doesn't float your boat, then let the boat sink, just walk away. That's what it seems like. It, just make sure, you know, it's, it's enjoyable. Three of cups. Now, Scorpio, that, in that position there, very funny. Maybe it's a thing to do with the water sign, but it's definitely to do with, it's a very sociable time by the looks of it for you, uh, Pisces, at the moment. You, you, you're gonna want to be sociable. But don't just accept anything. Accept only the things that make you just kind of go, yeah, I like that. I'd like to do that. Or I'd like to see that person. Or I'd like to um, go on that trip with these people. So I think it's, it's, it is a very sociable time. And I think it's understanding uh, how you celebrate that sociable side of your life. Uh, that seems to be an understanding this week. And by the end of the week, you'll probably look back and you'll kind of go, do you know what? Yeah, cool. 
I did this, did that, you know, I've got this out of life. This is really good. I like doing these sort of things. I could definitely do that in the future. Let's see how the universe is sort of trying to influence that karmic message. It's very solid. It's through understanding that progression can be made. So if, you, if, you, if you're doing something and you don't understand it, you're going to keep doing it until you understand it. That's, that's part and parcel of karma, that sort of thing. And here the universe is trying to sort of say to you, um, understand Understand how you can interact on a social level uh, with relationships with other people around you without having to sacrifice you within it all. Five of cups. Ooh, one of the four terms up there. That'd be quite funny. Um, yeah, so you got the five of cups there. So it um, could be disappointment. You know, just realise it. I think it's more a case of here. Because it's easier to actually realise the things that you don't like than the things that you do like. It's a lot easier to do that because they stick within our within us our psyche a lot easier. And I think the universe here is being very strong and stern in a way of sort of saying, do you really like that? Do you really like that? If you don't like that, then don't do it. Move on to other things. And she's got she's got plenty, you know, she's got a cup there that's as full as anything in her hand, you know. That's what the universe is sort of trying to direct you towards, is that Ace of Cups. Let's see what's going on with your guides, how your guides are trying to influence that karmic message. They're almost turning up, kind of going, I've got this for you, I've got that for you, I've got this, I've got these things here. And they're bringing you in, they're being very resourceful in the way of coincidences and the physical world around you, where you could actually sort of look at the life and kind of all of a sudden, you know, say, I'd like to go, I'd like to go on a barbecue. And, um, you know, and then you just happen to meet a friend somewhere and say, oh, yeah, we're having a barbecue tomorrow. Do you want to come on over? And it's, it's, it's realising that pleasure within you of what you will enjoy and who the people that you will enjoy being around. And your guides will just literally put it in place for you. Wishing on a star. Just wish on it. Just, yeah, go for it. This is going to free you up. If you're, if you really, if you want to be freed up, you're going to, you, you're going to want it to start with. And that's what that, you know, that wishing on the star. If you start saying to yourself, I would like this, your guides will provide for you. A little bit like the genie in the lamp. You know, your guides can be the genie in the lamp for you. Let's just see what's going on um, here because it'd be interesting to see Here, the guys are not here. Normally, they're talking to you in there, like a conversation with inside you. And it doesn't seem like there's a lot of conversation within you at the moment, which is a good thing, because otherwise, you know, it can be a bit of a pain in the backside, uh, you know, if your guys are constantly nagging at you. But this doesn't seem to be here. The guys here seem to be calling out to other guys, sort of kind of going, hi, do, you know, uh, Pisces here wants to go for a barbecue. It's so, so, you having a barbecue? Any chance we, you know, we can make sure that these two meet up in 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 you know in in the centre of town by any chance? And they're you know they, so they're open to communication on the outside world basically. Nine of one celebration, drumming, rhythmical partying. Yeah, this is a really nice uh, relationship side uh, for you. And this could be to do with your couple. This could be to do with your friends, family. It's the way in which you approach relationships. Obviously, on an individual basis between two people, it's, an in it's a very personal affair. Once you start getting into family, there's complications with the whole family dynamics. Uh, once you get into friends, it's a little bit easier. Uh, but I think you need to do a bit of wishing, uh, Pisces. Uh, you could wish yourself out of feeling stuck uh, and monotonous. Uh, that's, I think this is what sort of saying, this is how to get yourself out of that rut uh, uh, and moving on into something that's a much more sort of rewarding and fulfilling for you. Let's see how the guy, let's see what the, it's going on on your financial side, on the money side of life. Here is the um, 
karmic message. Let's say you, let's say you work hard, right? And you're earning millions or billions or trillions even, you know? You could have all the money in the world, but if you're working constantly, what's the point? So I think there's, there is a case here for, is it worth it? You know, is it worth it? Is it worth doing all these hours for the, for, for, you know, just to get the money, but not being able to really do anything on a, on a, on a weekly basis, you'll start losing yourself, you know? So yeah, it's asking you to spread that love in regards to your business sort of thing. So yeah, enjoy what you do. And if you're not enjoying what you're doing, I would seriously consider looking up, taking five minutes just to sit there, lift your head, look up at the horizon, <coughs> and maybe realize that there's another job for you, or there's another way to do your business, or um, uh, you know, there's another project to get involved in. And it's, it's putting it out there. It's putting that love out there. And you've got loads of cups at your base here by the looks of things, you know. Uh, but it's on that, on that. Yeah, it's allowing, it's allowing your joy to, uh, joy in your, in your career path, in your business and in your projects. That should be the main focus of, of how you run your finances at the moment. Um, rather than just sort of saying, I'm here to earn money. Because yeah, you might be there to earn money, but is it really worth it? You could be the richest person in the world and be stuck in the desert, and but you've got no water. And, uh, your riches don't mean nothing anymore. Do you know what I mean? It's it's like that sort of scenario. If you haven't got any your water with you, Pisces, because you're pure water, if you, if you haven't got your waters with you, your emotions with you within your job, then it might be um, something that is really sort of like, probably will only develop a burnout. So I would be wary of that. Let's see how the universe is trying to influence that sort of karmic message. It's turning up like a, a a fruit tree. Now, there's there's things called multi trees. So you can get a tree, and as long as you respect, it's normally say like stone fruit, so peaches, nectarines, apricots, uh, plums, that sort of thing. You can uh, graft on branches from all those different fruits. So then you can have one tree that's providing you with lots of different types of fruit. They exist, have a look at them, they're amazing things. I think the record is 132 fruits, different types of fruit on one tree. So uh, I think the person was in Australia. But I love the idea, and I think this is what the universe is trying to sort of offer you there, is trying to offer you one of those, those trees there, saying there's a lot more to it than what you actually see. Uh, so seven of, Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's having that sort of resources that are within you, that multiple opportunities or those multiple possibilities within your business life. If you or your job or your career path, if you are at one with yourself, and I think if you're at one with yourself, that's when you can allow your pleasures to uh, overflow within your work area, which will make life a lot easier for you, make your business a lot more successful as well, <coughs> and make your career and the, the company that you're working with and all your other colleagues that you're working with be a much more joyous experience. Let's see how the guides are trying to influence that karmic, karmic message. I think this, these are the guides here who are trying to, they're going to make things obvious. So it's going to be like these little coincidences around you 
that let's say like uh, you're talking to someone within the business uh, and uh, you, you know, you've been really wanting to get away for the weekend, but you've got a lot of work on. So you're sort of saying, I might be working extra late on Friday and doing the Saturday here in order to get the work done. And, uh, you know, someone, a colleague just turning around, sort of kind of going on the telephone just next to you. They're not even in the conversation and they, you just hear them sort of saying, or if I don't get any space this weekend, I think I'm going to have a burnout. And it will trigger something within you. And it's this is how your guides are trying to help you with the influences that are around you in the physical world to get an even balance, an even keel between the work and play, basically. Yeah, walking away from that, uh, that aspect of, uh, if it is it worth it? Is it worth it? You know... If it's not worth it, then I, yeah, I would be selective about what you do according to what the rewards it gives you and the time that you need to put into time and effort you need to put into something. If I could sell something that, you know, it doesn't, I don't have to touch, don't even have to think about it and it sells, then why would I bother even doing anything else? Do you, do you understand what I mean? So it's a case here of, of walking, you know, your guides are going to help you to sort of filter away from things that were slightly detrimental to you. And it's a bit and ties in with the universe there with the five of cups because, uh, you know, they're walking away from something that may have been brilliant at the time, but now you're in a different space. And if you walk away from that, it's going to help you in your career path and also within your business. Let's just see how the guys are trying to influence that conversation that is within you. They're giving you heads up of, of networking, of who you should be talking to, what you should be saying, um, when you should be saying it. So they're helping you to do networking, fair exchange. I would have put that fair exchange there personally because I did have a little bit of, of that as well, having that equilibrium balance sort of thing. And that here is trying to do the similar sort of thing. It's trying to... So I've got something on the card. Um, it's trying to... Um, help you in the respect where uh, with networking so you can get a bit much more healthier and balanced aspect to your career or business. So I would encourage that networking aspect within your business side of your life this week uh, and also express or uh, explore the ideas of enjoyment within your workspace, you know, regardless of what you're doing. And if you're going for a job, taking these essentials into mind when you're looking for that job. Let's see what the outcome is. Taking your place. Sitting on your throne. Queen of Pentacles. Really nice. You've got a Queen of Cups at the bottom. You've got the Queen of Cups, the Pentacles at the top very productive i think you'll find that the actually the less you do is actually the more you achieve that's what it appears to be like here and leading into the next week it's going to make if you if you start applying this within your life already once you get into the astro flower rhythm because the astro flower is there to help you get the best out of life no matter what the situation and if you if you put these into place, you know, in the very simple terms, uh, the following week, by the looks of things, you're going to be sitting in a position of power, and then you're going to be able to apply yourself within that apply yourself with that power. So it'd be interesting to see how that pans out for the following week after that, and also how it plays into that July. Excuse me, that July reading. OK, so, um, yeah, there you go, Pisces. If you want to be part of the Astro Flower family, uh, it's very simple. Uh, it'd be brilliant if you did it to have this support on YouTube. Just subscribe and click that bell. It's very simple. It doesn't take a lot. It'd be good to have you here. Uh, it'd be good to show your appreciation uh, for these free readings on YouTube. Um, and also, we also do stuff on Instagram. You can follow us there. And uh, we will be opening up the Facebook page soon as well. 
uh, once we got a little bit more sort of time and we've got the studios finally 100% set up. In the meantime, Pisces, uh, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.